black man putting on a dress conversation. You talking to a black man that put on a dress? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That, that, that conversation to me is, it's silly because it's a, it's a, it's a negative thing that is only in black people. We have, for some reason, been programmed to look down on the craziest parts about our experience, that we're supposed to not embrace our past, not embrace our history, not embrace our heroes, not embrace our different levels of comedy, that we have to be this way. When Robin Williams puts on a dress and is Mrs. Doubtfire, he gets nominated for an Oscar and white people think it's brilliant. His community embraces him. When Dustin Hoffman puts on a dress in Tootsie and he wins an Oscar, he's labeled brilliant. When black people put on dresses, all of a sudden we're labeled by our own people like something negative. And I'm like, we did White Chicks. That's a classic movie. Mm -hmm. It's a classic. I don't care what nobody says. Uh -huh. It's a classic. Everyone says it's a classic. That whole thing about, you know, you put on a dress and you selling out, that, that is not an artist's mindset. When you are an artist, you know, you go out and you create art. What about the... All right, Shalom, Yashirala. First and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory unto our Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, Bahashim, Rechachakotash, and double honors unto my apostles, my English, Shagulam, let's to rule well. And uh, peace and love and mercy and salutations unto the sincere brothers that are out there scattered doing the work of our Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, and all sincerity and truth. And Shalom unto the one third, which consists of men, women, and children who are to be delivered in these last days, Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, willing. All right? <clears throat> Now, as you see here, you know, um, I played this audio or, you know, this video in which you saw by this, uh, you know, guy, uh, Marlon Waynes, all right? And he's going into justifying why, um, you know, wearing a dress doesn't really mean anything. When really, you know, um, <laughs> you know, that guy, Cat Williams, just had exposed, you know, the secrets behind, you know, um, all of these, you know, Hollywood actors, which, you know, Cat Williams did not expose anything. You know, we, we, we already knew that, okay? You know, beginning with our heads, you know, apostles, elders, and so on and so forth. You know, they've been, you know, um, exposing, you know, the fact that these guys, you know, are on the down low, all right? And in order for them to get all of these riches, you have to partake in all of these different activities behind closed doors. And then you have to also... Uh, you know, put on a dress, okay, you know, which, hey, man, you know, the scriptures go on, and it's one of our laws not to put on a woman's garment, okay, you know, being a man, you should not wear that which pertaineth unto a woman, and vice versa, all right, but, you know, you see this guy here basically just, you know, ignoring the fact that there is a bigger meaning behind it, okay, and then he wants to justify it, why, you know, um, it's okay when other people do it, but when so-called, you know, uh, you know, black people do it, then therefore it's something that's negative. Well, hey, man, you know, you are not abiding by the same laws or, you know, and rules as everybody else. You, you know, you being an Israelite, okay, there's rules and regulations and so on and so forth that you have to abide by according to the scriptures. And when you go off, you're going to get called for it, man, okay? You know, the laws were given to the Israelites. And the law says that when you put on a woman's garment, that's going off. That's an abomination, man. That's wicked. All right? You see? But that's not it. You know, it's not just about wearing a dress. It's, there's a, you know, there's a bigger meaning behind it. And, you know, they want to brush it off and say, oh, it doesn't mean anything. Or, you know, you know, it is what it is. Or, you know, it's okay. When really, you know, these people have sold out. And that's really what it truly means, man. Okay, the moment that they put on a woman's dress, okay, being a man, then all of a sudden their career takes off. All of a sudden, you know, now they're getting all of these deals, they're getting all of these, you know, so called wealth, riches in the world, all of these movies and so on and so forth. The moment they put on a dress, so whether that's, you know, so what does that go to, you know, I'm going to show you? It shows you that they sold out, man. Okay, but as you hear it, he's trying to justify it when really it's wrong, man. Okay, so let's get this scripture right here in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. It says right here, a woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Okay, neither shall a man put, an, put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are 
abomination unto the Lord Yahweh by Shimon Shaddai power, man. Okay? And why is that? It's because that's going off, man. Okay? There's rules on how a man should look. Okay? A man cannot have long hair like a woman. Okay? And a woman should have her, you know, a woman should grow her hair, you know, have her long hair. Okay? But in this society, it's, it's a total opposite, man. Okay? A woman should not be wearing that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. But in this society, hey man, you know, they basically push out that vibration. Okay, do whatever the hell you want, man. Break the laws. Okay? This is why the scriptures talk about not making a covenant with the heathens. Because you have a lot of our people, okay, that will see this shit and think that it's okay. And then they want to go ahead and do it. Okay? But when these celebrities do it, we already know why they're doing it. Okay? And then when they get called out for it or where they get, you know, I'm um, a question for it. Okay, they want to basically, you know, you know, they want to ignore and bring up, you know, other reasons as to why, you know, it should be okay or why it should be justified. You see, when really it's wrong, it's an abomination according to the scriptures, man. Okay, let's get this. This is in the book of um, Mark, chapter 8, verse 34. It says, and when he had called the people unto him with, the, with his disciples also, he said unto them, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So our Lord Yahweh is saying, if you're going to follow me, okay, you're going to have to what? You're going to have to, you know, um, deny yourself, okay? Which means that you have to put the Lord Yahweh first, man, okay? Everything that you want to do, you know, all of your dreams, aspirations, goals, etc., you got to put that aside. The Lord Yahweh comes first and what he says to do, okay? <coughs> Lock here, you know. <coughs> Verse 35 it says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and that's exactly what these celebrities do. Okay, they're saving their life when really they sold out their life, okay, for the riches that they get, which is temporary. Okay, so they are under a contract. Okay, so in other words, they're trying to save their life in this side, not knowing that they have lost their soul. And the scriptures tell you what profited the man. Okay, when you gain the whole world, but you have basically sold out. Okay, you see, you know, you have no more morals as a man or as a woman. Okay, you're out here just basically working for these goddamn devils, man. Okay. For whatsoever, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. And that's exactly it, man. Okay, when brothers and sisters have come into this truth and have denied themselves and left everything back in the world, okay, to follow after the ways of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said what? That you're going to save your life in what? Especially in these last days, man, when you're going to need mercy from the Lord, you, you know, you're going to need guidance and salvation and so on and so forth. When these people have sold out their life, okay, but, you know, in the moment, okay, of affliction, there's a forgetfulness of prosperity. So everything in which they have, you know, basically sold out for, okay, it's going to come down and crumble and they won't remember any of it, man. Look, you know, look at Diddy, for example. Wicked as hell. But now he's getting exposed left and right. Okay, and I'm sure he can't even enjoy himself, though he's sold out. You see? Because at the end of the day, this thing is temporary, man. It's better to what? Okay, to, you know, to basically, you know, give up, give up your life for the Lord Yahabah Shimel Shai, man. Okay, verse 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Nothing. Okay, because Satan tried to do that with the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Told him about all the kingdoms, you know, he's going to rule and so on and so forth. You know, showed him all the kingdoms and the power thereof. But Yahweh Shai said, nah, man. Okay, because now you are what? You are now under Satan, doing everything he says to do. Okay, and when you go off, he'll, he will cut you off in a heartbeat, man. And we see that with a lot of these celebrities. All right? Okay, and it starts off with what? You know, doing... You know, things that are so-called simple in the eyes of the people is just wearing a dress. A lot of people might look at that and be like, oh, it doesn't mean much. When really, okay, that's a symbol, man. Okay, they had to do a lot of stuff behind closed doors to then now they're wearing a dress in the eyes of the public, man. Okay, 
and then their careers takes off immediately. They sold out. Okay, it says right here, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Nothing. Okay, because there's nothing that's, you know, that is of more value than your soul, man. Okay, verse 38, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in the adultery, in this adulterous and sinful generation of him, also shall the Son of Man be ashamed. And when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels, man. Okay? And that's exactly what would happen when you deny the Lord, Yahweh, on this side. He's going to deny you as well, man. You know, you people think that the Most High, you know, the Lord, Yahweh, is, you know, sitting there in the heavens and he just loves everybody. Okay? He's accepting anybody. Whatever, you know, however you come, you know, like they say, you know, come as you are. Nah, man, you got to change your ways. Okay. The book of Syrach, okay, known as uh, Ecclesiasticus as well in the Apocrypha, chapter 10, verse 9. It says right here, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. Okay. <coughs> For such an one setteth his own soul to sail. Because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels, man. And that's what these celebrities do. And then they want to come out here and basically justify the fact why, you know, when other people do it, it's okay. You know, they get glorified for it. Okay, but when, you know, so-called black people do it, all of a sudden it's a negative thing. Nah, nigga. Okay. It's wrong is wrong, man. Okay. When these, you know, I'm a heathen nations do it. Okay. They don't have to loss. They don't care. Okay. But when you do it, you sold out. You did something behind closed doors, okay, to then now you got to put on that dress, all right, which, you know, is an indicator, yo, something's wrong here, okay, because there is a, um, you know, there is a record of all of these people that have done it, and all of a sudden their careers have taken off. They sold out, man, all right, so I just wanted to bring that out, Lord Yahab, Hashim, Moshe, willing, willing that it was edifying, and until next time, Shalom, Yahab, Hashim, Moshe, Barakatah, Shalom.